Hi friends, this is Sarah from Crafting and Relaxing. Welcome, thank you so much for joining me. If you're new here, you might be a little scared right now, but hang in with me. This is a corner of my craft room. I show you the reality and the mess where I had a really good idea and it got away from me. Well, I don't know, maybe it wasn't a good idea in the first place. And Cheryl asked me about these bins and then how I label them. The funny thing was, if you've been around a while, you know I use masking tape and Sharpies. That That is my labeling system because I can change, I can adapt. And what happened here, I, I don't know. This one was pockets, tucks, and envelopes. So the idea was things that go in junk journals that you don't write on, right? There isn't a place to write necessarily. And then the other one was supposed to be tags. Okay, it's not even labeled. And then it sort of outgrew. Maybe I put one on here. And so then I made this box. And uh, Zelda's going to help us see what we have here. Yep, we're just in her way. And I've been adding, and it just got buried. Oh, here's this little fun old thing. Uh, people were using them in art journal pages, so I was sure I had to have one. I wasn't going to actually use it to label things. Don't get excited, people and tags, and a book that I love the quotes and pages out of. Uh, fun stuff. Oh, this is probably stuff I wanted for me. I have another box that says that. Uh, what's this? Oh, envelopes. Okay. Okay, we're getting a lot of assistance here from Zelda. Big help. Since Cheryl asked that question, I've been thinking about this a lot because, here, I'll show you my helper, because I want to clear things out this year, which means... I have to be able to find things, right? And what if, I'm gonna say crazy things now, what if these were sorted by color or a style or something? The other thing that I did as a beginner, I was sure I needed all this stuff, but what I didn't think about was I mixed things that were ready to go in versus things that were not. Let me show you. I've got tons and tons of playing cards in these bins but none of them are backed or cute. They're not, like, they don't have tea dyed paper on them. They're not ready to use. And I've done the same thing with clothing tags over time. I just, I just put them all in. Like, here's a partially done. It's punched out of a Kleenex box. I got sidetracked before I punched the hole. I didn't back the other side. Sometimes I don't back the other side, but this is kind of ugly, right? So we want to clean that up. Yeah, we're getting a lot of help. So what I've learned is I, I'm i probably not going to sort by color. Let's face it, I'm still going to be me. But I shouldn't put things that still need work, unfinished, things that goes. Those should probably go like in a box like this where I sit down and I play with scraps. There's a three video series all about this box. Scraps. I don't know. Lots of scraps. Maybe I need a scrap playlist. I was thinking about addressing this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go onto the camera mount and we're going to start sorting because I have several journals in process and maybe we could use some of this stuff. I mean, I don't know. And here's the thing. <laughs> Confession. There's those bins. And then remember when I bought this blue thing at a thrift store and I love it and it's great for, I imagined it to be, for the journal I'm working on and I could put stuff in there and then sort through especially if I had like four or five you know we've done nature and birds all kinds of themes butterflies well what happened was one day I was cleaning up from a journal and I took it and I put it here and then I've added stuff to it so again I have six by six pads that maybe I think these are going to be journaling cards but I just put six by six pads in here and then I have Mm, a completely plain white envelope, even though I have boxes and boxes of those. Same thing with all this six by six paper. I don't know. It was probably just in the way. So all of this stuff, one, two, three, four, and I'm sure they have friends underneath and around them, need to be sorted together and addressed. Does anyone want to do that for me? I know some of you get really excited about this kind of stuff. I get excited that I want it done. 
I don't actually get excited about the organizing and sorting part. I just want it to be better. <laughs> I'll be back. I'm not sure we're going to do this in this very moment. I might procrastinate a little. In my defense, I did just realize that I have a video due out tomorrow morning that I haven't finished the project for. So starting this right now would not make logical sense, especially since there's really nowhere to work. Cheryl asked me a question about how my ephemera bins were sorted or labeled, and she didn't she didn't ask in a mean way. She knows I'm messy. She's been here a long time with me. She's one of my friends. And it got me thinking. So I've been thinking probably, what, it was at least a week, maybe more. I've been thinking it's time to come back and address these. This bin, let's look. Tag, journal cards and tags. Okay, let's look in it. Okay, I agree with that for these. Maybe not so much for this item, or this item, or this, or this. Uh, it's gotten a little off track, wouldn't you say? This one says pockets, tucks, and envelopes. So things you can't write on the back of. Okay, pockets, envelopes, uh, pockets ready to go, true. Hmm. A deck of playing cards that I paid retail for when I was traveling in Milwaukee because I was sure I needed them. Don't think I've used one single one. And I would want to cover the back with a solid before I used them. So not only is this all mixed, but as I've learned a little bit more, I realized don't put the, it could be something. It could be a pocket, true. But by leaving them in the box, it would never even occur to me. If it's going to be a journal tag, I've got work to do on it. Maybe I should put all my cards together. Maybe I should start taking a few of them out of the boxes and actually working on them. I don't know. It feels weird to break up a set of cards, doesn't it? And normally you use old ones, but I was traveling and I love um, location specific things, right? Like mementos. I also bought some quilt ones when we were on another trip. We should probably trade them because I don't need that many. Along with this mess and what Cheryl got me thinking about, I have this many, don't flinch, uh, and more. I just can't probably hold them all with my hands. Journals to decorate. These are very different color palettes and very different styles. This one's kind of uh, vintage. And this one, I don't even remember, a little bit vintage, a little bit creamy. These two are bright as can be. This one's about done, but this one needs a lot of help. These are in the clear it out video on the 12th this month. Uh, these two little ones aren't even sewed together. And then these I plan to be cleanup journals. These two blue, junky and fun. This one is turning out so good though. I don't know if it's cleanup, it's just fun. I think one of the things that I missed is, and Eileen said it in my, when I did the brown cabinet, she said, you need to sort by color. If you aren't familiar with me, I am a butterfly. In the world of Clutterbug, I am open bins, have to be able to see it to use it. I'm not what you call a micro sorter. So the idea of having a thing that is pockets and then in order by color makes me want to put a pen in my eye. If you want to come over and do that, I'll be happy to use it. I will mess it up. But to sit here and do that, I just, I don't even know if I have it in me, Eileen. But if I don't, how are these journals going to get decorated? So I'm going to do this and I'm going to pack for the beach. It's not uncommon for me to go through these bins and go, oh, I want yellow or I want blue or I want this or I want that. So as I do it, let's tidy them up. I'm not going to impress any of you at the end with, oh my gosh, those bins are beautiful. They're on Pinterest. She's going to, no, that's not me. But maybe we'll be able to find something in the future because I tried to share some stuff recently with Kara when she was here. Yeah, couldn't find it. I mean, I still haven't seen it. I did. Oh my gosh, you guys. I found my Knight of Navy pad. It was in the drawer it was supposed to be in, but it was buried under layers of uh, two stamp platforms and a bunch of junk. But I found it. So don't worry. You don't have to send me one. I told you. I'd be good. So here's what I'm thinking. Let's take these. I'm going to lay these journals out over here to my right. 
I don't want to take these open bins to the beach at all. Uh, the place that I have been generously given to stay this weekend has stairs and stairs are really tricky for me. So I have to manage the amount of stuff I take. We're not going to Katie's house. Katie's house, we can pretty much back up to the front door. There's two, three steps. And then our big craft room with the fireplace and everything is the great room right inside the door. So I have to be a little careful. Also, I'm probably gonna get to the beach before everybody. That's just something to consider, right? I have to think about unloading and not breaking my neck. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to keep these journals that are off to the right and the left, there's a lot of them, in mind, but I am going to sort this stuff a little better. Now, I don't know if these are the right bins because see, most stuff, oh, those do, most stuff doesn't go this way, but maybe I should be thinking about a combination of that. These are a bunch of book page things that I made. They're all pockets, some are inked up brown, some are not. And some of this stuff I've been looking at for a while and thinking, oh, I don't want to use it. And then other stuff, it's completely lost in here and I would have used it and I think it's scrumptious. I just couldn't find it. Uh, Zelda is in a mood, I tell you. Her and Eliza are just fighting and fighting. Ah, this is so cute. I should have put this in something for my sister a long time ago because she loves books. There are no shortcuts to any place worth going. Okay, this is an example. This should probably be in my journal sentiments thing because can it be a pocket? Sure. It's going to be the tiniest pocket ever. It's not really a, when I go looking for a pocket, what I'm looking for. It could be the pocket on the bottom of the page on that little pocket, but it's not a full scale pocket. So I have this thing right here that says journal sentiments. Yep. Masking tape. And they are not sorted by color or size or anything, but they are words. So if I wanted a focal point of a sentiment, that's where I would get it. And I know my system is very scientific. I like the masking tape and the pens because A, I'm cheap, B, I'm a greenie, and C, I change my mind a lot. So it's nice to be able to just move things around according to your style or what you're working on or Oops, I got somebody's address on there. Or over time as your mm, wishes change. I try to be really careful about putting stuff in these bins that has your addresses on it, but every once in a while, clearly I get off track. I have red, white, and blue ephemera down below also. I thought about it recently, and what I was thinking was, I have a big anniversary in January, so a trip in December is pretty likely. So I'm thinking about a December daily, but not a July daily this year. Uh, if you're new here, July daily, I love to do. It's fun. It's summer. You talk about gardening and trips and all sorts of things. But I had a really bad July a uh, year before last, and I might still be recovering. Okay, what was I thinking? This would be a super annoying pocket, right? Because things are going to catch. No, and it's pink. Why did I even keep that in my life? So I'm thinking December daily this year. I don't know that I want to put all my red, white, and blue stuff away together because like one of these, I mean, I don't know that it was in my life at the time in my defense, but it would have been really cute in here, right? So I can still use it in there. I just can't necessarily put it in the signature without taking it apart, which I'm not going to do. As I go through here, I'm also going to be looking and saying, okay, do I want this in my life? I don't like this side so much, but this would be a great pocket. And I could cut it a little narrower, which makes it highly useful. This thing has been in here forever. Now, if I, I could put these, I don't like that they're printed on the back so much, but I could put them in the pink journal or one of the ones I'm going to give away. And they would be a very nice thing, right? So I'm going to make a go away pile, but first I'm going to use it in a journal I'm going to put in the free library or some other stuff. And those are cute, but I'm tired of looking at them. Okay, all these little things fall down. Sometimes I sound frantic lately, and it's because I have, see, you can see here, uh, assistance, and I know I have a certain amount of time to finish my thought sentence or what I'm showing you before I have to manage a situation. I thought she was just going to steal the washi tape and leave, but that was not the case. Okay, envelopes, cute pocket. Uh, this is cool tape. Who sent me that? Oh, I took it off, so you can't. 
I don't know. That might be Nancy's writing. Cool tape, though. Okay. So, see, it just it got away from me. And I had really big items and really... I don't even know what this stuff is. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, forever Wishes. Make a wish. These are... I'm going to keep this. Sunny and bright. Let's get away. Rest and relaxation. Uh, I'm not keeping these. Oh, I can put those in the go away thing. And then we have an envelope that I stuck. This is fabric that has the sticker making stuff. Xyron on the back of it. Andrea was playing with her big Xyron machine. Oh, some more of these, which I probably didn't know I had, so I made more. I do not put hole punches on my tags. I don't even think about it. Do you remember? It probably would help if they were in the tag bin, not the pockets bin. So let's start with that change. I mean, I just, I don't know. I don't, I don't know if you look at my tags and go, oh my gosh, those are so unfinished. I don't know why she doesn't do that. Okay. I'm never going to use these. I watched a lot of people and they were super junky and, and I didn't buy these. I think they came into my life. I don't want plasticky stuff in my journals. Does that make sense? I mean, unless I make the cover with a pool liner or something, but whenever I go to use these, I look at them and I just, I, I don't know. I just don't feel it. I mean, they would probably hold the pen. Who knows? I'll put them in the go away and maybe I'll just stick them in a couple journals this weekend and think those are the best thing ever. Okay. Oh, fun little collaged on messy thing. This is just too big to go that way. Oh, these are great. This was, I don't know, something Noni had, and then I stitched it. I love this, and I don't have very much more of it. Uh, I'm not going to put it in the red, white, and blue. I'm going to use it. We are trying to use stuff up, and those red, white, and blue bins are overflowing. My friend Janie takes way too good a care of me. Janie, stop sending red, white, and blue. Trust me. These I was imagining as vertical tuck spots on a page, so... I'll never look for them in a thing called pockets, really, because they'll fall down. But maybe maybe we just put them right here and we cross that bridge later. Uh, envelopes. I reuse all sorts of envelopes. Oh, there's a bunch of tuck spot thingies down here. Okay. Ooh, here's a nice pocket. Vellum, purple. Mixed media one, mixed media, mixed media. Okay, turns out I have a bunch of these and a little tiny pocket. I'm sorting by size kind of as we go. My whole, oh, look at that sorting system is, will we be able to find it and see it? It's not color, right? If you sort by color, that's great. And Eileen, feel free to come to my house and sort things by color, but then you'll have to come back and do it on a regular basis. Okay. Eileen is an organizer. She is, oops, that broke, starting a... Don't leave rubber bands around for uh, not smart kittens because uh, Zelda eats things. She doesn't care if they're food. Eileen is starting a... I'm looking for something to tie this with, but I'm having problems on both sides. I wish you guys could see this. She's trying to figure out how to make the jump, and she was sitting over there doing the weird foot thing. She's going to knock down my journal, isn't she? She fell the other day. She didn't make the jump because when there's stuff on the counter, she gets perplexed by what to do. Usually she's going the other way too. So this probably is just a weird thing for her. Anyway, this is what my life is like while I'm trying to make videos. <laughs> okay. Now uh, I'm going to set these down right here and then hopefully they won't come help us. And I'm going to flip this bin around so I can get to the back a little. Uh, really nice. I'm going to pull this out and I'm going to put it in my uh, pages pile. In my white stacker on the left, I keep things that I could make pages in my signatures. This one is so big and nice. I imagine it this way. I don't even have a journal that's really, oh, that's not true. That's not true, people. Mm, it just doesn't work though, color-wise. This is all white and bright and I'm not feeling it. But I very seldom make giant journals. So I'm gonna put this in signatures. I guess it's actually just a slot called pages. And then I probably put something else on it. Uh, probably the same for this. It really shouldn't be in here. And we've got some little things. Uh, keep me, this has been, it was 
uh, hand-me-down from somebody else that's been in there forever. Oh, I like these. I haven't made any of these in a long, long time. And I don't remember whose idea this was, so I'd have to think about it and look. But it's a pocket, and it goes on a page, and I've decorated this one. We should probably use that this weekend. It would probably be very cute somewhere in this one, right? I'll just shove it right in there. The funny thing is there, w there was a lot of mess in here, but it wasn't really in a way you could use it. These do make cool pockets. This was Noni playing with uh, laminating sheets and glitter. Oh, here's another one of those that I just inked and stamped on. Oh, hotel room card things. I love these. I decorate them around the corners. They're just nice. I usually put washi or something right there and then washi or a little paper there. Getting a lot of help, getting a lot of help. Zelda had this one and she bites everything up. It's, it's a level of texture I'm not really looking for in my journals. I do like to put cards and stuff in them. So we'll just put some of these bigger pockets. I mean, these do qualify, they work. But we'll sort the larger items together. Uh, these are cute too. Some of this stuff I'm not, you know, looking to use up immediately or get rid of. Like I have a bunch of these and I'll just put one here and there. But it just, it just got away from me a little bit. Now what I do with these is, can you see it's embossed? Noni sends me her rejects or I don't know, this is just really cute. So sometimes they're crooked or she didn't love the paper or she was testing something and it's an embossed card. So what I would probably do with this one is maybe trim to the grass a little and maybe trim over here because it's a little bent and then put some color or embellishment with it. But they just make great pockets. Okay, this had a clippy, mm, doesn't speak to my soul, uh, little envelopes. You know how I love the mini envelopes. Clear things. I like these. They're fun on a page. Um, this is an envelope and then I collaged on it. I mean, it'd be super cute on a journal page, especially a junky one. It would be a pocket this way. Uh, oh, she's kind of cute. What about her in this one? Yeah. She's not really my style either, so it's good to find her at home. Okay, uh, regular paper in the pocket thing. I don't know why. Eh, I'm going to stick it back in there. Maybe my logic was it goes in a pocket. Oh, this is super cute. I was thinking, see, I cut it this way, so it doesn't really have its flap, but I can still see it on a page, maybe, maybe like this. I don't know. The, the, the decorated up envelopes, I just love them. The other thing I could do is just take this part and then put it on a page. And sometimes if, like, if I did take the bin and go, then I would have uh, creative supplies in it. Oh, look. This is one of the bags I was trying to find to give to Kara. Found one, found one, Kara. Okay. Now, uh, as a junk journaler and somebody who loves like the US and the maps of it and stuff, I bought these and I got super excited. Let me tell you a couple things about if I saw these, I wouldn't buy them again. As a junk journaler, A, I bought these in two sizes. So the smaller size is more versatile. This one is just, it's big, right? This is a giant journal, but like, this wouldn't fit in this journal. That it wouldn't fit in the pockets, probably. Definitely not. Maybe in the cover pocket, borderline. Okay. Then, if you fold it in half and put it and make the ends each a pocket, super boring because you covered up all the fun part. So, when you're looking at gift bags or someone offers you them for free, maybe don't pick the white ones. I could probably tea dye this. I don't know what would happen to this ink, and it would it would add some interest. But if you had two choices and they're side by side. Buy one that has more color, more interest. So you could fold it, you could chop it and not such a big design on it. So just learning curve for me, right? Like you see things and you think, oh, I need, I need to have that. I don't even know what this is. Like, do you have things in your craft room where you're like, why is this in my life? It is super thick. It might be packaging. I don't know. Yes, it could be a pocket, but wouldn't it be the most boring pocket ever? So let's go ahead and take that out of there. These, uh, I sometimes fold them and put them in the signature. Sometimes I would snip the end and then put them on the page. More envelopes, vellum. 
from the post office. Okay, we are just sorting this up. I'm trying to think if I have a box that would be good to put some of this stuff in and take it to the beach. Now, again, I would pull it out of my just sorted box here, but I think it would be kind of fun to have it. Look at me, I put light colors together. Uh, this one's tiny, so we'll put it down here or we'll lose it. My friend Beth gave me a ton of little envelopes. I was doing something one day where I started inking the edges and I was like making an envelope book and then I got sidetracked. Uh, this is a cutie. I don't know if it has a home in one of our journals right now, but maybe we could find it. And again, some of these, I've been going past this saying, oh, this doesn't quite work. Isn't this cute? I think uh, Mary or Emily made this. It's a tiny little envelope sewed around with a window. I think it has to be handmade. This looks like Emily. I'm thinking she had the paper. She cut the thing out. She stitched vellum right here. Oh, I can hear a die rattling behind me. Hang on. Zelda knows how to take dies off the wall now, not just off the counter, and she loves doing it. That one is a lot to manage, I tell you. Really fun idea. You could make these yourself out of little papers, uh, six by six sheets, right? It could be a smash that small pad idea for me. Love it. Absolutely love it. Really fun. Okay, then I've got a whole bunch of little envelopes right here that were in a separate bag. This bag's a little too big to nicely fit in there, but just pretend. This is uh, packaging. Sheets, blankets, it's too thin to be a comforter, sewed up the edge. These are super fun in journals. Again, I would make them smaller. The only one I have left is the big one, but it probably fits into one of these. I'm gonna put it in here because it has blue and light blue thread, so it'll go on that one, I think. Now, never buy a journal just because when I made a video, I said this is gonna go in it, because there's a good chance I'm gonna drop that, it's gonna be on the floor, and then I'm, it's not gonna be in there. So, always check the final flips, probably. Okay, let's stick these right here for now. We've got incoming on the left, and I wanna set this bin aside, but I think we made it better. Um, I'm gonna put this in my mixed media cart, it may have been some kind of fancy mixed media paper. It may have also been like something that came with a t-shirt. This one's going to be hard because I think part of the reason I did this was they were big items. So let's do this one first. This one's super heavy. There's a lot more in it. Okay. Our plan. We don't have a plan, do we? I know some of you are like, oh, organizing is so fun. No, I'm here to craft. That's what I like to do. Perfectly good and ready to write on. Could be better, but could write on. That one, you can't see anything if you don't have the right pen. This, I don't want this in my life. I smeared something on it. It was a UFO mixed media thing. I may not be there yet, but I'm closer than I was yesterday. We made that in some video. Um, these, I would use these if I cut the points off. That is what the problem is with these. And you might say, well, why did she do that? Da, 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 da. The reality of it is, it's going to bother me if I put them in a journal and the points get all bent up. And they've been sitting here for I don't know how long. So you do what you need to do. Oops, don't cut like five at once because that doesn't work. To use things up. And that's what we're trying to do is we're trying to get these bins not only sorted, but we want to be sure that anything we put back in here, I can actually see myself pulling out and using. Now these are super plain, but I usually have scraps of paper, stamps, bits, washi tape. I mean, that's okay. There, There's hope for them. Arrival, relax, travel, destination, and then I stamp two from on the back. This is, or maybe somebody else did, this is a UFO situation, right? I'm not gonna grab that and put it in a journal. Oh, these are pretty cards. I'm sure we're gonna have a bunch of envelopes here too. So I'm gonna be putting the envelopes in our other bin as we go. Unless they go with a card, that might be a little different. Maybe I don't know where the mixed ones go. Um, what is this? This one's tags. This isn't ready to write on. Either I need to cover the back or I use this as a pocket. I'm thinking this is a pocket. It'd be gorgeous. So I'm putting it in the other bin. 
pockets and tucks. I mean, whatever your categories. Again, like, this is just super cute white cardstock that's doing nothing. Okay, we'll put it in here. Hey, Missy, let me fix that for you. She's going to go fetch her washi tape now. So anyway, I was saying, make your own categories, your uh, tags, pockets, tucks, whatever. And you may want smaller categories. You may want small pockets, large pockets, um, blue pockets, patterned pockets. I don't know. But some of these, it's just, there's a lot of them. And I, I don't know if you do it. I take stuff out of the packages because I'm going to use it. Then I put it back and don't use it. You know what I mean? I am overwhelmed. This is a lot for me. In the midst of our lives, we must bind the magic that makes our souls soar. Nice pocket is what I'm thinking. Uh, favorite memories. I've stitched across the back of it, so I want to make something on it and use it. I don't like this one. I'm putting it in the use it this weekend or go. Uh, same for this one. These I'm okay with. Library cards. I think Tony gave me library cards. They're cute. Little pockets. All their other friends are in the other thing. Uh, these were on a sheet in my life for like 20 years. And then I finally chopped them up. This is just plain as can be. Do you have bins like this? Oh my gosh. It just gets away from you. Just be careful. If you're new at this game, like just random ephemera. I'm going to put those in the go away because... I'll use that pile, I'm sure, a bunch of it. And then if I don't use them, they're not coming back in my life. Trust your heart. Ooh, look at the color palette on that one. Yeah. It's almost easier when you have a really specific journal because you go, oh, I know where that's supposed to go. This is awesome. Let life surprise you. How have I not used that? It's ready to write on in the back. Maybe somebody just recently gave it to me. Maybe it was buried. This is... A UFO. It's a mixed media tag that, you know, has some paint on it. And I could uh, decorate it as I went, but I'm less likely on something that has paint because I can't stamp on it. This is a tiny piece of cheap white paper that's crinkled. Okay, more whole reinforcers. I didn't buy them, if it makes you feel better. I didn't buy them. Um, but there's a lot of them. Maybe I should just make tags all weekend. Ooh, this is the kind of stuff I was thinking. For the big, tall journal, these are big, tall tags. Now, color-wise, do they go? Cheryl's going to say yes, for sure, Ye yellow and blue. Um, you guys don't want to wait for me to find the place, but I don't want everything that I've sorted to fall out. There we go. Now, I'm trying not to stop. Oh, zipper. In my mind, I was sure I wanted a zipper on a page or a zipper on a cover, something. Why I put it in the tags container, I'll never know, okay? Never would have found it. Oh, here's another tall tag. That journal is going to, that journal is about to go real mixed media. Those were, I think, from a Dina Wakely class I took like a couple years ago. A uh, lot of pink, a lot of pink. Don't hate it, but I am going to cut off the top part right here because I always stop and do that when I'm crafting and it bothers me. These are from Janie. She's been cleaning her room and sharing. I don't know if I need this many, but I do have a lot of them, don't I? Okay, here's some good stuff down here. Let's see. Notes, same. It goes in the use it or lose it. Uh, use it or lose it. Been in my life a long time. Same. These are things that when I look, I am not inspired because they've been here so long. Uh, chop it up. I'm not really a Rolodex, whatever those things are called. Time to wake up sleepyhead. Say cheese. Hmm, I don't know. Uh, this was from a paper collection that a friend bought, and it was like one of those Michaels. You have tons of it. It's going to be 100 years before I use it all. Cute little things. I like these. Uh, no. No. Yes. 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 Um, I cut it with a banner. It's a flip. That's what it is. Yep. We'll use that. I mean... Look, I have two more of these. See, sometimes I'm just going through and I'll keep some, but I'm getting rid of. These have been in here for years. I made a bunch of them for something, I think for a party or something, and then didn't use them all. Like it was like a 
write things on them and put them in the book or something. Okay, we're flipping this side. I thought we were like almost done and then this side, right? Not so much. Zelda, what is wrong with you this morning, Missy? Okay, this was from, ooh, these are cuties. This was from the scraps bin clean out video. So these are all my cute little tags that are ready to go and adorable. That's fun when you, you know, find something in your bin that's just how you'd like it. Okay, all of these, I'm not going to stop and cut the little thing off the top, but we could use some of those. Um, best friends, not my color palette. And pretty as a princess, probably not my life. This one I would use, but I'm just going to cut it down. There, oops, got to keep going. Okay, pattern, lined paper, patterned paper, totally changed it, right? I was not using it because it said my life and because of you on it. Now, I'm much more likely to use it. I mean, still not quite my color palette, but better. I love you because life is beautiful. Um, this one I'm going to leave as is because I do like life is beautiful. And I may use it. Uh, this is cute, just needs a little string through it. Uh, started something, got sidetracked, has like one sticker and then I moved on. Sometimes I stick the sticker on it because it's on the counter and I want to use it. These are pockets. Like this is a pocket. We have to remember what we're doing here. This one is tags. Things to write on is our category here. Right? Here. It'll help me if I have an actual masking tape in front of me. There we go. Tags and journal cards. This could be a journal card. These were things to write on. Where on earth have you been today? Don't forget. Reasons to be happy. That's what he said. Okay, these are all. Could write on it. A little guest check things. Yes. I'm sorting them by size as I set them back in here, just like I was doing before. Makes it easier for me to look. These blank postcard things, I don't know what my plan is. I'm not gonna lie to you. Okay, envelope, put that with its friends. Uh, same here, what's going on? Maybe I was like looking for something and trying to figure out if that fit in that envelope. If you have envelopes with tags in them, don't separate them for goodness sakes, just store them differently. These are die cuts, I think Tony sent these to me. I'm probably gonna use those more as cards, not so much pockets. I thought I would use them as pockets, but then I didn't. So if I have uh, an M, say, you know, you buy ephemera or something. Oh, this is a cute one. Um, I never take the thing out of it. This is, I mean, literally, look at this. Why is this in my bin? It's all bent up. It, it's some kind of packaging category of probably didn't need to be in there. Okay, we are not going to uber sort this. I'm sort of in a hurry because I'm trying to get ready. Oh, those are fun gifts and they're ready to go trying to get ready to go and I haven't packed my craft stuff. I haven't even actually chosen my, this is not me. Sometimes I cut up the ephemera and then I think I'll use it and then not so much. Perfectly imperfect, be joyful always, use your wings. I do like these. Let's put those right there. What is this? Okay. Oh, you know what it is? It's flips. Yeah, they are journaling cards because the fabric, oh, did you hear that? Girls, I told you, it is rowdy here. The fabric flips up and you can write on them. So I'm going to put these maybe like this. I mean, let's see, you might know when I made those, but I don't actually remember anymore. I'm tired though too. That could be part of it. I'm excited to watch the waves and like just sit for a little bit and talk to no one. Except for maybe Katie. Katie might be there. Okay. Other people are coming. Okay, there we go. Uh, fun, fun. We made those recently. Oh, look. I've been wondering where the little tiny vellum envelopes were. They were in the wrong thing. Okay. Uh, pocket. These are so cute. See, this is how you find stuff and go, hey, I want to use that. Oh, this is precious. Somebody sent that to me. So my categories are things you write on and things you decorate the page with or put stuff in. Um, I know these papers aren't really me, 
they were in a pad. They're fairly thick. This one's embossed on the back and it's pink. So we're going to go ahead and, or peachy, we're going to put it over here. As a journaler, I wouldn't like to have stuff to write on that's super embossed, especially if it's that formal, the style's going to be a little different. So that's why I kicked this one out. This one's smooth. I'm going to put it with its friends right there. This is a nice, these are nice thick papers. They're not like your basic, um, six by six pad paper. This is from that uh, A class with Dina Wakely. I don't know which one. Okay. It, the bin is getting to be like things you would actually write on. Now I've got some weird things right here in the middle that I just tried to skip tonight. We didn't want to talk about it. Uh, old receipt, card. <laughs> okay. Uh, JCPenney receipt from I don't know when. Uh, but great ephemera but it's not really for writing on okay here's another big tag i'm going to set that in that big blue journal and hopefully we don't get too mixed media oh this is another real tall one that i made and i hadn't cut it because i wasn't hadn't decided i'm going to put that in the big blue journal kind of trying to clear out some of those big things i don't put them all in the same place let's make this all face the same way so that later i don't have a problem I don't make them all face, or uh, I don't put all the big stuff in the same place, and then I can't find it when I need it. I know, you're shocked. Welcome to Crafting and Relaxing. Okay. It is supposed to be relaxing. Ooh, this is a giant journal card, too. Let's put that in the big journal. I might just cut those a little narrower and leave them tall. That's why I hadn't cut them. I hadn't decided after I collaged on them. Ooh, that's a cool one. I did not make that. One of you gave that to me. Okay. And all these cool tags, what I'm thinking is, um, depending on if I take all or part of this bin or what I do, I will use some of these this weekend. And or I'll just be more excited to look through them because it's not terrifying now. Every day is beautiful in its own way. This is, I was imagining a pocket. It's not, it's very thin paper. So I'm going to put it in the pockets bin. It's not something you would write on the back of and pull in and out. Uh, did you hear? I have to look behind me now. Okay. Eliza is destroying something, but it's something I gave her to destroy. Okay, these are cuties. Let's put these right here. And I kind of have, oh, look at that. Look at this, Eileen. Can you zoom in and see? I have like colors right here. I put all the like brown earth tony things together are you proud of me or what okay i think maybe i should consider like vintage or bright now what was my logic when i put this in the tags and journal cards category i think the logic was it fit and i was trying to put it in a big stack of stuff that protected it from a cat laying on it this is what i was thinking this part has this thing on it, but I could put ephemera over it. How cool would this be as a journal cover? Now, you could use the Graceland Mansion. I probably would because the one of Elvis, uh, unless you, you could score it right here and fold it and then he'd be on the cover. So that might be kind of cool. The, the thing I don't like about this one is it has this stuff on it, and it's, like, facing away. I mean, it's not the best picture I've ever seen. Like, I like how this one is at us. Um, this one isn't going to be a great journal cover, though, because you think in folds, right? So we're going to score right on Elvis. I don't know. Maybe it's cool to have a... He'd be... I think he'd be, like, maybe his face would show right here. No, there's no way. Well, if we cut this narrower, maybe... And it has these little punch out things. I, it, this one might be the cover and then I don't know. So see what I see where I was going there. I'm going to see if I have a slot that says covers and put it in there. I do. There was one that said cover supplies. It is very full and a lot of it didn't look like cover supplies to me. I'm not going to lie to you. Yep. They are running around. Okay. Let's get this accelerated a little because okay oh my gosh 40 minutes yeah i need to get moving people i've got extreme goofing off to do i have an appointment at the nail salon on my way to the beach um 
real life has been real, real busy. And today I'm going to breathe and drink water and go to the restroom timely and just relax. Probably not going to eat any candy because I've been doing a lot of that. Uh, I had more of these. They're not, they're, they're just fun. Actually, I might put one in the tall journal. Look at us. Then all this stuff, I'm just going to kind of quickly shove back in there because seriously, I need to get on the treadmill. I got a lot of goofing off and taking good care of myself to do today. Okay, so I'm just going to throw this away. I don't think I'm going to use a piece of paper that says because of you. It's weird. I might. No. If you've had stuff in your room for years, see here, I have one of those in a pocket. I'll leave it. If you've had stuff in your room for years and it does not bring you joy when you see it, it needs to go. Now, my friend Andrea buys beautiful paper, keeps it on a shelf, and it makes her happy. If it's making you happy, great. If it is saying to you, oh, you need to use me, you shouldn't have bought me, blah, 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 and my gift from so-and-so, and you don't appreciate them, it needs to go. It literally just needs to in the go-away pile. If it is not bringing you joy. Look at this. Now... I don't know if you can see the before and after so well, but now when I see this sitting on the counter, I'll be like, oh, isn't that inspirational? Now, have I addressed my overall flaw in my storage system and prevented errors for future? No. Have I dealt with the cute Lake Tahoe cards that are the same situation as the other ones? No. These are little cards from when I, I mean, little cards from when I was little too. You can see the packages kind of tattered. I'm not even sure they're all here. But look how adorable they are. Okay. Maybe I will make an effort to use these cards. I think what I should do with cards is I should put them in my bits and giblets scrap box that we recently made a giant improvement in. What did it take? Three videos? And then I will cover them with tea dye or with neutral. They'll just be like a TV watching thing. In here... I'm probably not ever going to just grab a card that you can't write on either side, except maybe the Joker because he makes me laugh, and put it in a journal. I'm probably not going to do that. I'm going to put this in here just for fun, though, so I have it handy. But if I started decorating the backs and making them all cute and doing little tea dyes with stamp, how is this not in the trash? Um, stamp stuff on them, I probably would use them like Nancy does. So I'm going to try it. Be careful. Your friends will inspire you. And if you have a lot of friends, you have a lot of inspiration in your life. And there's only so much time. Or maybe if you just have a couple of amazing friends, you'll have the same problem. I tell you, it is getting like crazy in here. I have no idea why these items are in this bag and in here. It must have had something to do with crafting somewhere and cleaning up. So I'll just put them back in and I'll throw them in my... I should take that with me doilies i don't know why doilies are in tags and journal cards that doesn't make any sense to me but i'll put them back because there's a space oh here's a little tiny envelope let's grab that okay the bin as a whole looks way better definitely not sorted by color though huh it's cute does that help this is the beginning of a giant journal card too Color wise, it doesn't go with that big journal at all, but I am going to put it in my let's use it up this weekend because it was up on end on the counter and that is not safe here. Like I need to rethink how I store things because Zelda and Eliza walk across and lay on things all the time. Okay, I guess I shouldn't have put the other bin away. I'm not going to do it, you guys. We're like, we've been doing this for a long time. This is a long video. How about this? We'll just go like this. These are quick glance. That's a bag of, came from something else. Things to write on. Oh, and some pockets. All right, let's do this. We're doing it. This doesn't go in here. I never use it. Same. Uh, some of these, if there's nowhere to write and it's in the wrong bin, then I just grab it and put it back every time and don't use it. This one, oh, it's pocket because the back's not, uh, not going to use it. Put it in the go. Some of these are really cute. We probably made them in videos and, oh, here's one of those. I thought we were out of those pockets. Uh, right on, right on, right on. Okay. 
tags and journal cards, pockets. Stop the train, I'm putting them in the wrong ones. I bet that happens a lot too. Bigger labels maybe, or don't use the same exact containers. Now this Victorian journal, can't remember how it came into my life. I think what I'm gonna do is cut some pages out of it and then put it in my go away. So I will have some of this dyed paper, but I don't need this many. I don't do a lot of vintage type stuff and they're so tall. So you have a height. Uh, I think Mary sent this to me. I'm still brainstorming about how I'm gonna use it. It's cool. So I'm gonna put it in the journal cover thing. But again, the way it would fold, I don't know. Sometimes I put things in one bin thinking I'll use them one way. And then if I move them to the other bin, they get used right away because I've already moved past how to use such a big item by the time I check that bin sometimes. Oh, well, I don't know why that's in there. Okay, I am not taking all this stuff out of this bin because of time. I'm gonna chop this down. They do look better. I'll show you the final shot of them sitting on the counter. I forgot about this one. That's it. I'm out of time. I'm putting it back on the counter and I'm moving on. <laughs> All right. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you're taking time for crafting and relaxing. Bye-bye.